Hit a quick little crumply on the stencil here. That way it helps kinda form around these curves a little easier without fighting. It helps conform to the shape of wherever it needs to be because you can see how it automatically wants to peel away from there once I'm down at the bottom. So that'll help kinda take care of any a bit of that fight there. Normally you'd want to cut, but there's not a whole lot of places I need to cut here. So I think we'll be good enough to do it without cutting into it. And then once we find our spot that we like, which I think I like it right here. I used to uh, marker all my placements, but I found just taping kind of just makes it a lot easier keeps it in one spot. You don't have to worry too much about things shifting too much. Don't always need to do this for any particular reason. I just like to kind of hit a quick paper towel wrap around just to give even pressure all the way through without kind of rubbing too much on the stencil and possibly smearing too much important information. I love that feeling whenever it feels like a sticker coming off. That's when you know it's gonna be a good day. I think I like that placement there, Fritz. You like that though? I think so. Oh, check this out. This is something cool that happened recently. That guy. Yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah. what happened? Oh man, I popped the blood vessel dreaming about my ex the other night. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You zombie? I uh, know. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna do a quick kind of bloodline with a little yellow in here because these outlines are going to be done in like a goldish kind of yellow uh, and I got to do a lot of black so there's almost just a little too much outlining of yellow to to go ahead and just do it in the yellow itself right now uh, but I, this way it kind of saves my stencil and I can go back in once I do all the black and punch in all this nice yellow and make it look good. So line work all finished up, we ended up getting away with a 11 round liner, a 6 tight, and a 3 bug pin is what we used to get through the line weights right here. Uh, possibly more line weights, but we'll see what happens once we start rendering. So then you can see where I was doing that like kind of blood lining with that little bit of yellow in there just to hold those spaces open uh, to allow me to get through all this black and then I can come back through and pump in all the yellow lines because as long as you don't overwork the skin nothing should really uh, get muddy or stain any color uh, a wise actual tattoo wizard taught me that goes by the name of uh, Sean Foy. If you don't know, you don't know. Color is always fun. This is a moment we've all been waiting for, or at least me. I love color blending, color picking, even though I made a reference that I don't really have to do too much guessing on color choices, because I spend too much fucking time rendering each fucking design, but it's for my own sake, my own safety client safety.
Uh, working on the, the step here, getting all the wood textures laid in. You got some color on the otter there. We've got pretty much all the the skin tone except for like the white underneath the parts done here, which most of that like there is no solid white really in anything that I do uh, except for like just highlights. It'll look like it's white by using tones of grays uh, that gives it an effect that looks like it is white. This is where the magic happens, right? So. Literally, yes. Creating these little magical really spell things and uh, you know, making sure that I'm getting within these little lines that I'm gonna be stacking yellow outlines on but I was gonna do them earlier but I decided to wait until almost the last I guess but these are just fun open blends nothing too technical just uh, Making sure I get a nice smooth blend as much as I possibly can. Got all the the real detailed stuff I think done. Uh, so all we really have left here now is uh, like that. I don't know what you'd call them, but like the the edges of the the robe here top of the hat which is gonna be the same color we got to do these stars which are a nice darker color not black but dark got to finish up the ropes and then do my yellow outlines and then a couple dots of fucking white for highlights and we should be good and yes what a palette it is simple but a lot it's wild how many variations of one color you can make but I like to almost mix my colors down fully instead of just leaving them in the cap and mixing in the needle. Uh, at a certain point, I will just mix in the needle, but uh, I like to at least know that if I need to do a field of color, it's one exact color already mixed and I don't have to overthink too much. It's all about making life easier, even if I gotta throw away a little bit extra supply. I really like the, the glow coming off the staff there. Thanks, dude. Oh, dude. Finally hitting the last bit of stages here. All of our lightest of light stuff is going in right now. Uh, still not down to white highlights just yet. But we are very, very close. Fucking home stretch, dude. Here we go. It's an, it's gonna be super quick too, cause there's I'm not gonna bust in a bunch of white in here, so pretty quick. Fucking done. Stoked. Super pumped on how everything came out. Super pumped on my client for sitting so freaking well. That's not an easy feat. It was a, uh, what? Uh, it's after 10 now, so just about a nine hour day. Pretty incredible, you know? My back hurts, but that's easy enough to take care of. Her leg is fucking on fire, I'm sure.